Hey, what's going on gang? Welcome to your 36th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom search filter. Okay then, so we've seen how to use filters to change the display of data in a browser such as these to uppercase and snippet. We learned that in the last tutorial. So wouldn't it be cool if we could use such a filter to change the output of these blogs right here? For example, it would be nice if we could have a search box at the top we search in that search box and then it filters out any blogs which do not contain that search item. All right, so some kind of custom search filter. So it would be nice if we could just come over here and say, okay, blogs, this is the array of blogs. Let's add a filter to this called, I don't know, search. And then we'll create that filter so that it only returns to us the blogs with a specific search term. Yeah, that would be good, but Vue.js doesn't really like this anymore. Um, it's very bad for performance, and it suggests instead to create custom search filters using not a filter, but instead a computed property. So I'm gonna show you how to do this exactly the same using a computed property, and it's really quite simple. So first of all, we need to add some kind of search field so that when you use inputs into it, we can search for that term, okay? So let's come underneath the H1 and add in an input, which is gonna have a type equal to text. And then we wanna attach a V model to this so we can store what's being typed into this. And we'll call this search. And we'll also add a placeholder and give this a value equal to search blocks, okay? Okay, cool, so there's our import. Now we need to define this property down here on the object. So underneath blogs, we'll say search, and currently it's gonna start off as an empty string, okay? So if we save this now, we're gonna see this search box up here at the top. But when we type in, nothing happens yet. So we wanna add that functionality now. So how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna use a computed property, okay? So let's come down here and create a new computed property. We'll say down there, computed, and this is gonna be an object. And the computed property is gonna be called filtered blogs, okay? So it's gonna take our current blogs there, which we retrieve right there, and it's gonna filter them, okay? So this is a function, and inside this function, what we wanna do is return the filtered blogs. So what we're gonna do is return, and it's gonna be an array, and we're gonna take the current blocks, which is an array, so this.blocks, and then we're gonna apply the filter method to them, okay? And each time around, this takes a block, the single item in the array. So I'll explain this properly in a minute. For now, I'm just gonna take that, I'm gonna use a fat arrow function, okay? And then inside this function, what we're gonna do is return either true or false. So I'll just say return boolean there, right? Just so we know this has to be true or false. Now, let me explain this. This filtered blogs property, what we're gonna do eventually is replace blogs with filtered blogs, okay? And that filtered blogs is gonna be some kind of updated array based on the search term, all right? So if a, if a user searches for, for example, this word right here, then every blog with that in its title is gonna be remaining in the blog, but every blog without that in the title is gonna kind of be filtered out of the blog, okay? Does that make sense? So what we're gonna do is eventually cycle through filtered blogs and not just blogs. So this thing down here, we're returning an updated array, okay? This return statement here is returning an array. This is gonna be an array. All it is is the current blogs array with some stuff filtered out of it. That's what the filter function does, okay? So it cycles through the array, and say there's 10 things in it. Each time around, it's gonna perform this little function right here for each item, and we get that item. That individual item is the blog, right? And then inside here, we're gonna return true or false for each blog. So if we return true, then that blog stays in the array. If we return false, that blog is removed from the array. So we wanna return a Boolean and to do that, we need to determine whether the search term is in the blog or it's not. Because if it's in the blog, then we're gonna return true, so it remains in the array. If it's not in the blog, we're gonna return false, so it's filtered out of the array. 
okay so what we're going to do is return blog that's the current blog right there and we want the title property to check whether that search term is in it okay and then what we're going to do is use match right there to see if it's got a particular term in it and the term we're looking for is this dot search okay which is this thing right here search so when a user types something into this it's going to update the search variable the search property okay so say that's like abc or whatever it updates to abc then when it filters through the blogs we're going to look at each blog in the title property and this match function uh, function is going to check whether that abc this dot search is in the title of the blog if it is then it's going to return true and it's going to remain in the array if it's not it's going to return false and it's going to take it out of the array make sense okay so now we've done that we've got this property now called filtered blocks which we can then output here instead of blocks okay so this time it's going to cycle through filtered blocks now to begin with filtered blocks is just going to be um, the blocks basically because we're just looking for an empty string and everything has got an empty string in it okay so let's save it and view it in a browser so to begin with everything's there if we start to add this word o c c a e okay they've both got it in so that's why both of them have been returned delete that let's try this one q u i and all of these must have q u i in the title yeah cool so that is how we create a custom search filter in vue.js using computed properties not filters